Hi guys, it's Mikaela and I'm 11 years old and today I will be sharing a dream with you guys that God gave me a few days ago. So that night that I was about to go to sleep, I said a prayer. I said my all father prayer and I said for God I send for God protection over the house for this blood. And um I I got a question. I had a question for you. And my question was can I enter into your heaven with being afraid of physical things and not spiritual things? And the reason why I asked that question is because in the book of Revelation, it says all cowards and afraiders have their part in the lake of fire. And I don't want to go down there. And so, and so when I asked that question, I was hoping that he would reply or answer to anybody or do a dream. So I said amen and I went to sleep. And I had a dream that we was in the snow and God was kneeling down with his hands in the snow. But I was crying because my mother, she was praising God for who he was and how she's and how he was. She saw him for how he was, but I saw him in a cartoon way. So I was crying. It was me, my sister, my mom, my dad, and we was just we was just praising God, but I was crying because I wanted to see God for who he was. So God was walking away and I followed him and somehow I got covered up in this red cover. And then we was I was going up this tube and it was going real fast and I couldn't see what was around me, but all I know was there was a red cover and it was really fun. And so when I got there, I was just talking to God about things. And then after that, it was time for me to go back down because I couldn't stay for long. So there was a snake forming in the cover. And I started rebuking the devil, but I did not have that much power to to rebuke him. So I just kept saying it until I was... So every time I would say, I dealt with the Lord rebuke you right now in the name of Jesus. I already knew it was the devil because God does not form into a snake as I know. So I, as I started saying that, I gained more power and power and power until I went to my limits. I hit the limits and I... The devil was in the plate, and I hit the table, and I say, say, and the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And then I would, then God was gliding up, and there was light shining from his face. It's like I couldn't see his real face because I passed the test. And then after that, I... I just looked at him and it, the the bright light just went down just a little and I could have be able to see half of his face not whole because I was still alive so so after that um, I was going back down and then I had I was going back down. So, oh yeah, God was, yeah, that's, remember, God would say, well done. It was like, well done, my faithful servant. It was like that, but he said, well done. And, um, I was going back down, and I went down to the school and it was a bathroom and a school 
So when you switch buildings, you get to go to the bathroom. So I went there. My sister was like, why are we here? We're not, we're at Pleasant Brook came to a field trip. And my sister was like, why are we, why are we here? And I was like, well, mm, I really don't know. But I just got to really use the bathroom. So I went to use the bathroom, came back. And I was riding in this beautiful car. It was like a Lamborghini. And it had no lid. My mom and my aunt said, that's a really nice car. Then I parked. And we had put the umbrella in front. And we was just relaxing. And we was just having a good time. And then I went to another part where my aunt said, my other aunt, she said, what kind of phone do you want? And I said, I want an iPhone XR. But then she didn't have that much money to get an iPhone XR. So I just been fair and said, well, I'll get the iPhone 6 because it only costs $100. And so she got me that and it, it turned to paper. And that was all my dream. Alrighty, so... That was a really great dream. Um, when you when you're having a dream, and God shows you Himself, is a vision um, that He's showing you of Him. And um, if you had it in the night, is a vision of the night. So that's what He was doing. Um, in your vision of the night, He was showing you Himself. And the great thing about it is that He answered your prayer. Um, there is a scripture that that's in the Bible. Um, that that states that, you know, when you call on him, he's not going to answer. And that scripture, I believe, was talking about those that's um, being disobedient to him. They're not listening to him. They're not obeying his commands, his laws, and his judgments. And he's spoken to them so many times before, allowing them to know that they can call upon his name, you know, especially while he is near and while he is still able to be found. But these people... They just disregard the things that God is saying to them and he's no longer hearing them anymore when they pray. And the great thing about that is he heard you and he answered you immediately. And I believe that's a, a great way of going to sleep, you know, saying a prayer and having a conversation, talking to him. And I really do believe that it doesn't matter the way that he is. Um, he's relaying the, the dream to you, relating the dream to you. Um, but. I believe that he will reveal himself to you in some way, shape, or form. Rather, that's like you stated in the dream or, um, you know, through music or through a television show or just through a person just randomly walking or talking. So I, I really, he comes in all ways, you know, shape and form. So that was a really, really, really um, powerful dream. And what I got out of your dream is that um, power. You said that you didn't have much power to start with. And the good thing about it is I've learned um, there is a scripture in John 1 and 12. And it talks about how God will give those of them, uh, many as that will receive him power. And then in the book of Acts, it's also talking about um, have you received um, the Holy, I mean, have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed? And after receiving the Holy Spirit, you shall receive power. So I think that that's a, a really great dream. And for him to come at you and say, you know, well done. We all one day want to hear those words. Um, well done, thy good and faithful servant, for you have served me well. And I believe that, you know, once you got to that place where you gained that power by receiving who he was, then he was able to tell you, well done. And like you stated, you weren't able to see him in the in the way that your mom was able to see him because the way your mom saw him, she saw him for who he was. But you were seeing him as a cartoon character. And that's why you went to go follow him up this tube because you wanted to see him the way your mother saw him. But it wasn't after it wasn't until after you received him and you received the power where you were able to see his face. Now, you stated that the face was bright. Could you see through the brightness? Or was it too bright? It wasn't that bright, but yes, I could have seen half of his face um, mm -hmm. through brightness, yes. Do you remember what he was wearing or you don't remember it? 
Yes, he was wearing a white robe. His hair was hair. His hair was blonde. Mm -hmm. And his face is pretty. Wow. Oh, that's a blessing. I really, 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 really do thank God so much for your dream. Because I remember the first time you had a dream about Jesus, you were only nine years old. And that's how our YouTube channel started. You was nine years old. And it's two years later. You're 11 years old now. So he, you know, he visit you again in a way of showing you himself. And um, I think that's a blessing. What do you think? I think that was. So do you want to encourage your viewers about anything before you leave? So I want to encourage everybody to keep praying and have conversations with God. Because the more you have conversations with God is more when you when he answers your prayer and you get more what you're looking forward to and if you have any problems go to God because he he's a problem fixer and he will help you and if you have any problems with your kids or if you have any problems with anybody else just put them in God's hand because God will take care of them for you all righty is that all you want to say? Bye, guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Have a blessed day.